Okay then, so to do this question, what I've done is I've introduced a random variable. Let x be the random variable, time in seconds to run the 100 meters, where x is distributed normally with the mean that we're given, 16.12 seconds, and we're also given the standard deviation was 1.60 seconds, but we have to put the variance in here, so I've written 1.60 squared, the standard deviation squared. So, we've got to work out then the probability that a child takes less than 15 seconds to run the 100 meters. So, how are we going to work this out? Well, what I would encourage you to do in any question on normal distributions is always to draw a sketch. And in this case, it would be a sketch of the normal distribution for the random variable x, and directly underneath this, the standardized normal distribution Z. So I put in my mean here as 16.12 and then we've got to find the probability of being less than 15. So that's going to be over here say. And we'll give this an observed value say little x1 equaling 15. And the corresponding Z1 value Okay, let's just put it down here. We'll have to work out in a moment. But this probability is given by this area then to the left of 15, and that corresponds to the area to the left of Z1. So how are we going to get what Z1 is? Well, we should know that any Z value is given by the corresponding observed value minus the population mean mu, all divided by the standard deviation sigma. So for this question, Z would now be Z1, so we'll put therefore Z1 equals the observed value, which is 15, minus the mean, 16.12, and that's divided by the standard deviation sigma, which is 1.60. And if you work this out, you end up with minus 0.7. And that looks good so far. It's on the left-hand side of zero, so we can expect a negative value. So what we're saying basically is 15 is 0.7 standard deviations below the mean. That's what the Z value is trying to tell us. So when it comes to working out the probability that X is less than 15 then, it's exactly the same as working out the probability that Z is less than minus 0.7 standard deviations below the mean. And we would normally try and look this value up in tables. But when you have tables, the problem is that the Z value tends to be a value greater than zero, and it gives us the area to the left. And we've got a value to the left of zero, which is negative. So we need a workaround. And that workaround, as you should be familiar with, is that we can think of this. Let's just draw it down here very quickly. We've got our normal distribution, something like this for Z. We're trying to find this area here to the left of minus 0 0.7, that area there. So what we can do is mirror that across this axis here to 0.7, Z equaling 0.7. It's the same as that area there. So we can say that this is equal to the probability that Z is more than 0.7. Okay, so we've got the same as this area, but we want area to the left of Z. Well, we know that the whole area should come to 1. So all we need to do is 1 minus the area to the left of 0 0.7. In other words, 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 0 0.7. So that gets us now into the tables. We just need to look in our tables where you see Z equals 0 0.7. Look underneath the corresponding row here, and the value that we should get is 0 0.7580, 0 0.7580.
So when we just work this out, we got 1 minus 0 0.7580. And what does that give us? It gives us 0 0.242. OK, so there we go. That's how I would work out anyway, the probability that x is less than 15.